Okay, YouTube world, we are back and we are on the bank. We are in 4K again. A little news on that. For the longest time, I have been making my videos on a computer I bought in high school that is currently held together with packing tape. And I just recently bought a new drive for it. So that means I can finally go back to making good quality high definition videos again. Forgot about my little step down. Same approach as usual. Common carp for bait. Just because we're not in the boat doesn't mean we're changing anything with how we fish. So let's see if they're biting this evening. Only got two baits. Okay, got our baits set up. Let's get them out there. I have some action here. Yeah, that's a nice fish. It's a long way down there. He's a nice one. All right, we don't need to go in the cave. Yeah, that's a nice one. It's a real nice one. He might be upper 30s, may hit 40. I'm out of line. I can't remember how to do this bank fishing stuff. All right, let's see if I can get down here. Without him getting snagged. All right. It's a beauty. <clears throat> He'll probably be like upper thirties. Yes, sir. About forty-three inch. Forty-three by twenty-five. There's a nice little bank kitty right there. No clue if I'm in the shot. He's ready to go. Oh, we got another fish up there. Almost pulled the rod in. <sighs> Shit. I don't know if it's still on here. Hooked one, lost two. It's 
just wondering why this rod is there. Not getting hit. It's the furthest downstream. I think this is a little fish for the size bait it took. Just go straight for this cliff face. Good thing I got heavy line. Decent one. Have a leap of faith again. Not sure what this dude weighs, probably like 20 something. Beauty. <sighs> so, I know this looks like a rather plain stretch of river right here, but reason I chose this location today was because of the current obviously see right here look at this is that a fish that might be a fish yeah well, like I was saying the reason I chose this stretch is because of the current that's through here and I've been out here in my boat I know how deep it is. So I know that this is like a 20 foot drop right here. And this is sort of a channel swing where current down there is a lot heavier, but it's just starting to curve around and meet the bank right here. I've always had a feeling there's a big fish to be caught right here. But we've got a few fun, fun size ones today. Leap of faith again. Wrong way, pal. I think we got one over here. There he is. Way the f out there. He's got some weight on his side, but this one always makes him feel huge because Rod's way out in the current. This is a Daiwa Beef Kitty Rod, and this is probably the shittiest rod I've ever owned. I would highly recommend not buying this, but I've had it for a while and I don't have very many functioning rods. That's a nice fish right there. That's a real nice one. He's in that cave down there. Get out of there. See how this fish looks. I haven't got a real good look at him. Oh yeah. That's a, that's a big fish. I've got all my measuring tools down there that's definitely a 60 pound fish 
do the leap of faith a little early. <coughs> this is a nice one. Wow, that's a big boy. Oh. oh man, and he stinks. He smells like This might be the longest fish I've ever caught. Let's see. Fifty six, fifty six by thirty four. That thing uh, tried to weigh it. I don't know what it weighs. It broke the scale and then it took it down through my hands, slipped my fingers, bleeding pretty bad. Let's get this guy back. God, he stinks. Oh, what a fish. My hands are f I know he's over 70. There he goes. All right. You can see the sharp. This is my scale, of course. I ran my fingers along the side of that and it uh, just cut, him, cut it right open. Scale's f not a good reading at all. No clue. 56 by 34 though, that'll put it right around, I don't know. Okay team, I'm gonna call it because I need to get this taken care of. <laughs> well, I don't think he was the biggest fish of the year, but I think he was up there <laughs> as a giant. It was 100% a giant. And I'm okay. My fingers are just sliced up a little bit, but I can Gonna be just fine. Just got cleaned up. Okay, guys. I just wanted to take a quick second to kind of talk about that fish I caught uh, the other day. Just a few points I wanted to hit about it because I didn't get a good weight, obviously, that uh, kind of expressed in the video. And that kind of irked me because I love weighing my fish and knowing exactly what they are and taking measurements and everything. And a lot of people ask me, you know, why, why do you even weigh your fish? Why do you even care? And it's not so much that like, you know, it's really important to me what they weigh so much as I'm actually trying to create, I'm kind of trying to create my own table of something that I could put together with my own experience of length, girth, and weight. Put that together and kind of give you an idea of what the measurements of a fish are gonna likely give you in weight as well. I think that that's just kind of a fun thing to do. I've had a lot of, uh, charts out there that just seem way off from the measurements I've taken on other fish before. So the whole reasoning behind it is I just want to create something with my own experience from fish in the local rivers that I fish. And then hopefully that's something that, you know, other people can use. I'll hopefully be able to put it out on this channel and people can use it if they ever catch a fish and they don't have a scale that, you know, here's what, you know, your typical Missouri river fish is going to look like. Now that being said, um, why I want to talk about this fish in particular was it was so long of a fish. I mean, it was 56 inches. That's the longest fish I've ever caught. But, uh, you know, there's definitely 
way longer fish out there. I've heard fish up to like 61, 62 inches and even above that. But uh, the whole point is that that was my longest fish. I usually catch, you know, real short fish that are just absolutely loaded though. Like they're completely filled out to the max. This fish was super long and just super skinny. It was like a tall skinny guy basically. He, he had a 34 inch girth, but he didn't uh, carry its weight all the way to the back of the tail like, like a lot of my other fish do. But when I was reeling in, I was like, this fish has definitely got what it takes to be an 80 pound fish. You know, it's got the frame, but when it was all said and done, looking back on it, I just don't think that fish, you know, hit 80 pounds. Um, I even tried to weigh it and I'm very disappointed in myself because the day I went bank fishing, the only reason, the reason I was going out is because I uh, had just washed my boat and I was like, oh, I'll, I'll let it be clean for a day or two. And so I was like, so let's go bank fishing. And I even brought a scale, but I was thinking about coming and grabbing my good scale out of this boat before I did it. That's where I made a mistake because I, this is what I have in my tackle box is this this is a, I have another one here too. This is a 112 pound uh, Danielson mechanical scale. And while you don't need any batteries to use it, this is just a, a crap scale. I mean, I, it, it was $8, you get what you pay for and I should have known better. But it basically broke immediately when trying to weigh that fish. And then you can see these sharp edges while I was trying to hold it up, they just dug into my fingers like, I don't know. I was very unprepared for that fish. I was not thinking I was going to catch anything that day. But um, it was interesting also how much water weight he lost when uh, I lifted him up. I've seen a lot of fish do that, um, you know, in other people's videos that it, they, they let go of a lot of water and it uh, seems to lower their weight quite a bit. So I don't know what that fish ends up weighing. It's 56 by 34 so that puts it you know with the calculation at 81 pounds but uh that being said i just don't know if it even hit 80 i would when i when i lifted it up on this scale it hit 70 um was the last thing i saw but i don't know what was going on with this thing so but yeah so the whole point behind all of this though is i want to hopefully get to a point where i can make a big chart that shows average fish that I've been catching out of the Missouri River and their length girth measurements versus their weight and kind of give everybody an idea of um, some data points to let you have an idea of what your fish might weigh. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to what they've eaten recently and the general health of the fish. But, and, and my measurements aren't perfect either. I mean, I don't have two people holding the tape measure. It's, it's kind of just, you know, the best I can get with being alone most of the time, because that's usually how I fish. So, but anyways, so that's the whole point. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching as always. And hope to be catching more giants on this channel and stay tuned. Thanks.